It's official, our nursery is done, and I wanna walk you through what the process looked like to put this entire room together right before this little girl joins us. I'm Julie Bauer-Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind PaleoMG, and I love me some room design. I'm here to share my favorite food, workout, and wellness tips along with a little interior design along the way to help you live your best damn life. Today we're talking nursery reveal. Oh, I could not love this room more. It is beautiful. It turned out absolutely perfect and there's not, well, maybe there's like one thing I would change. But I'm gonna share the whole process, what it looked like from the start of the room until the end and so you can see how we put this room together. Let's get going. So Brian has painted the wall so hard to see the color in here, but it's this bright orange. It's looking pretty. So we're just gonna let that dry and see if we need one more coat tomorrow. I think we will. And then it's off to the races with this nursery. Okay, we got uh, two coats of this paint on here. We got the rug down. We're obviously trying to straighten it out but we are moving and grooving. Now we just have to clean out this room. There's obviously a ton of shit in here, but pretty pumped about how this looks. Well, look how cute this looks. We still have a lot to do in this room, but we got this beautiful lamp. We got the crib in, this cute little sleep tight blanket. That's pretty much just for looks. <laughs> We got the Newton mattress, but this cute little cover on it. So things are coming along slowly, but surely. Now we're waiting for a decal that we're gonna put right here. It'll be really pretty. It's looking nice. Obsessed with this rug. That looks so cute. Putting up the decals. So things are starting to come together. We got that decal up, crib is in, we got the rug. Now I just bought some stripes to go up top here. Instead of doing a wallpaper, I'm just gonna get decal stripes like we had here, cause decals are so easy. <laughs> and then we can easily pull them off if we ever move. And then I'm gonna get these blue stripes and then we're getting a light fixture installed that kind of looks like a rainbow. So we got a whole sky, sun, blue sky, and then a rainbow going on. And then we have a chair coming soon here. So it's coming together. Okay, I have some updates. A chandelier went in and it's really bright. So I'm actually having our electrician put in a dimmer. And then, we got a chair in as well. I am obsessed with this chair. It's from Canada. And you can see, oh, that's a little too bright. But you can see the gold right at the bottom. So cute. And then I'm gonna get some, what's it called, curtain rods and hang some curtains there so we can have blackout curtains and darken this room, but it's coming together. We are a step closer. Now let's go in here. Okay, I could not love the stripes on the ceiling more with the chandelier. The decal is stunning. Crib looks amazing. We got the diaper changing station set up. They will never look this organized ever again, obviously, but for now they look fantastic. <laughs> We got all these from the baby shower. I got this artwork, it's a little bright there, but I got this artwork from my astrologer who guessed this pregnancy about two and a half years ago in Bali. <laughs> then this lamp is just, I mean, it's perfect. The rocking chair, I guess it's a glider. We hung this little moon little, I don't know, jewel ornament, the phases of the moon. 
uh, because she'll be right on the Cancer Leo cusp, depending on when she's born and Cancer is ruled by the moon, which I love. I just kept a mirror in here because I just had it. <laughs> Got this cute little rocker. And then here is the other side. So did this beautiful mirror. I love this mirror so much. It is incredibly heavy. <laughs> and then of course I had to get Jackson in her room because it's very emotional knowing he won't be here. Here she is. <laughs> and then got this cute little bookends. My sister-in-law got these for our baby shower uh, because everybody bought a book. And so we've got all those, some of those books lined up. Installed this little shelf, came in a set of three. And then this dresser is just, I think it's so cute for really any room, but especially this room, it just, it turned out amazing. That goes into my office. And then we did a little another moon phase right here. So I was originally gonna put this over the nursery or the crib, and we decided to go a little different and just put it in this corner. And it just turned out great. Ugh, oh, it's just so beautiful in here. It is truly so beautiful. I could lo not love it more. Now, if I were to do this all over again, I would have painted one extra wall. Our designer came up with painting all the walls, but we just personally didn't want to do that. And when I say we, my husband didn't want to do that. And we just thought it might make the room a little bit too intense because it's not a huge room, but we do wish we would have painted an extra wall, like the one with the curtains. Wish we would have done that. Other than that, everything came out amazing. The only thing that happens sometimes when you're using an online interior designer who hasn't been in your space, even though you send in your measurements and all your dimensions, not everything is going to look exactly how it would. So when we put the mirror up, well, it's not gonna take up the size of the entire dresser. And so we actually spaced out things a little bit different and I added some things in. So those are the only things that you have to keep in mind when you're working with someone online. It's not always going to measure up exactly the same as the renderings come out. Working with Havenly has been one of the best things I could have ever done. I have designed all of the rooms in our house through this amazing designer, Marie, through the Havenly. And I've loved it. I loved it so much. It makes it so much easier to find things that you had no idea were out there and to come up with a design that you just could have never dreamed up by yourself, at least me. Some people are really good at that. I am not per se. But if you wanna learn more about the Havenly, I have a full blog post all about this experience, all about the nursery, and you can see even more photos. I'm gonna link that in the description below. I hope this room inspires you to go colorful and splash that color all over the place. That's what we've done with pretty much every room in the house and I love it. But I hope this inspires you to just design something and make a space that you love and that hopefully your little one loves someday. She won't really care about this nursery anytime soon, but hopefully she will one day. I'm Julie Bauer Roth of Paleo G. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to hear from you. If you love interior design, if you've used an online interior designer like the Havenly, share it in the description below and stay tuned. I have a couple more videos I think you're gonna like.